I thought about it for probably over a month and last night I was still changing it. Chris Pedretti says she has been waiting for her chance to address Joseph D'Angelo since she was just 15 years old, even though she didn't know his name for decades. D'Angelo admitted last month that in 1976, he broke into Pedretti's home in Fair Oaks a week before Christmas and raped her. One of more than 50 rapes D'Angelo has now confessed to. He has to list to each and every one of us and every brave survivor there and their families all have something very worthy to say and and it's about time that he gets to hear it now that it's over pedretti says she couldn't feel better really good I feel very empowered i feel like like i said i i did what i came here to do however she says it doesn't matter to her if d'angelo heard what she was saying or not this wasn't for him this was for me yeah. i really could care less if he heard it i wanted i needed to say it and i wanted to say it and i said it She's glad all of D'Angelo's other victims will also get their day in court this week, offering them this advice. I would say speak up and give the blame back to the rapist. It's not yours. Yeah, and a lot of the victims told us uh, similar stories that it felt really good to get in there and, and actually address him as well as the court. Uh, you heard from a Rowena that, uh, of course, some people didn't hold back their anger, that one woman uh, showing him the middle finger. But believe it or not, a lot of other victims said they forgive him for his actions. Reporting live at the courthouse tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News.